Hi, I'm Vipin and I work as a software engineer here at Udan. Hi, I'm Priyesh. I'm an architect at Udan. Hi, I'm Kaushik Mukherjee. I head software engineering and application development at Udan. E-commerce for a general user works like magic. You see a product, you place an order, and it gets delivered to you seamlessly. However, for this to actually happen, there are intricate services under the hood which are intercommunicating with each other. Some of those services could be procurement, discovery, order placement, fulfillment services like inventory management, warehousing, logistics. At Udan, there are hundreds of such services that interact with each other. Remember, not all access patterns are going to be the same. What that means is they're going to respond very differently under different kinds of load patterns. During sale events, like the Mega Bharat sale, which is India's largest e-B2B sale, these systems end up coming under a lot of stress because the traffic patterns and the load patterns are spiky. But we don't want end customers to face the brunt of that. And hence, system resiliency, which is a very important part of SDLC, comes at play to ensure that for the end customer, these variances, as far as the systems are concerned, are obfuscated. At Odan, we chose open source framework resiliency for j and its capabilities like circuit breaker, timeout, and retry, each with its own nuances in order to make our platform much more resilient. These capabilities went through a plethora of experiments and tests before we reached a minimum viable state. Today, we are going to focus on circuit breakers. More to come in our next videos and blogs. Circuit breaker, as the name suggests, breaks or disconnects a connection. In a distributed system world, it breaks the connection to the downstream service based on certain conditions. Circuit breaker was implemented at Odan using finite state machine. It has three normal states, open, close, and half open. It uses sliding window to store the outcome of calls, aggregates them, and decides to put the circuit into the required state. With any system, under stress, there could be failures. However, with circuit breaker, those failures are not percolated to the end user. When failure or a degradation rate of a service is below threshold, circuit remains closed, allowing traffic to flow seamlessly. Now, here comes the real power of resiliency. When a framework detects rates above threshold, it trips the circuit open and stops further requests to the impacted service. This allows some time for a service to recover. The recovery happens in matter of minutes, the circuit are tripped half open to evaluate if system has recovered. After that, circuits are closed to allow smooth flow of traffic. For example, during Mega Bharat sale, promotion service received 50 times more traffic than usual. Resiliency framework tripped the circuit open and allowed it some time to recover. At last, circuit were tripped closed and users were able to see the deals and offers. In order to prioritize user experience over everything else, the principle of resiliency involves classification of system into a set of critical services and non-critical services. Non-critical services are the one without which the buyer can still have a very good seamless buying experience. Whereas critical services like search, pricing, catalog are essential for any user to be able to complete their journey in our system. Now what happens when a critical service fails? Usually, failures are detected when a service fails to respond back in a stipulated time, resulting in laggy user experience. However, resiliency ensures that a critical service fail fast. Instead of waiting for failures, it informs user that something has gone wrong and should be tried again. Hence, preventing a drop in user experience. Now, what happens if a non-critical service fails? As soon as failures and degradation with a non-critical service are detected, resiliency opts to bypass them without compromising overall user's experience. So we talked about user experiences, but these user experiences are built by engineers at Udan. And we want to make sure that we are giving them the right tools, technologies that enable them to do their job. These again are part of SDLC, but that's a topic for another day. Stay tuned to know more about tech at Udan.